I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, we are on the FM3. I've got the latest 6.02 firmware, and I want to show you how you can turn any delay into a panning delay. This will work on the FM3 as well as the FM9 and the Axe FX3, as they now all share the same LFO features in the delay block. Before we get started, though, I've got the Friedman BE C45. The only thing that I've done is I've loaded up the amp and turned the gain down to four. I've got it with my go-to Cab IR LT TV Mix 7. The low cut is at 40 hertz. The high cut is at 10K. I find this works kind of nice with this amp. Just makes it sound a little more kind of open and raw. And my good old favorite London plate reverb, Les Paul Standard with some Martin A. Smith style PAFs. Let's have a listen to the core amp, cab, and reverb tone. <laughs> I've got a drive in here. There is this new OD-1 overdrive based on a Boss OD-1, a classic Japanese drive pedal. If I kick that in, we get this. I've also got the option in this preset to turn on the Stripe 90 phaser based on an MXR phase 90. I believe this is probably the EVH signature version. <laughs> fun to be had there but we're here to talk about the delay so I've got a delay just loaded at the stock settings it defaults to digital mono there are several new types in here like the stereo trim delay the pan delay and the wandering delays which make use of this added third LFO which you can also access in the modulation tab of the delay but what I want to show you is how you can take whatever delay you're using and turn it into a panning delay so let's go to a delay type that's not one of these new types in here. Let's go to the graphite copy delay based on an MXR carbon copy. I'm gonna dial in 300 milliseconds of delay and I'm gonna turn the mix up to around 30%. Let's just have a listen to what that does. I'm gonna turn the drive on as well so I can have some more grease on there. <laughs> Now that delay sounds quite nice and warm and it kind of sits around your guitar without interfering too much with it. That is because there's quite a drastic high cut happening in the EQ section. There's also a little bit of drive and there's the compander section in there which give it like a gritty analog character. What we want to do though is turn this into a spatial effect. To do that we're going to go to the modulation section and on previous firmwares the FM3 has had LFO1 and LFO2 which affect delay time modulation. Now there's LFO3 and you can set that to target either the level of the delay so you can kind of create like a tremolo style delay or you can set it to the pan or spread. Spread is going to apply to stereo delay types. What we're going to do is we're going to take pan over here. We're going to turn the depth up to 100% and then one last little step because this LFO now is going to kind of act as a multiplier on the echo pan control. So if I just turn that LFO up and I don't do anything else on the delay, my delay LFO is multiplying this echo pan, which is at zero. So it's still gonna maintain a mono delay. That takes that 
really sweet sounding mono delay and turns it into a massive spatial delay as that delay pans around. Personally, I like slightly longer delay times on here, so maybe let's double this. We go 600 milliseconds and maybe a slightly slower pan. The way we would control that is to control the rate parameter in LFO3. So let's turn that down you know, below one hertz. Let's check this out. I said earlier this will work with any delay type so let's select a different delay type maybe let's go for a slightly more hi-fi sounding delay the 2290 with modulation is one of my absolute favorites at stock settings this has a phase reverse on the right channel so make sure you're listening in stereo if you're not listening in stereo or you're summing to mono when you're playing with this you're not going to hear the delay but check this out without the panning <laughs> That phase reverse gives you this wider than wide kind of sound. So let's go to the modulation section and you can see in here the LFO3, the target is still set to pan, but I haven't assigned the echo pan control to anything other than zero. So we'll turn that all the way up. Let's go for a, say, slightly faster rate on here. Let's go for two hertz. So this one really, really zips around. Check this out. <laughs> So if you want to go for crazy over-the-top solos, the 2290 adding that panning LFO is simply glorious. You can also play around with the waveform on there. You've got all the normal modulation waveforms in there from sines, triangles, the A-stable LFO, which is kind of in between those ramp up and downs and an exponential log. And of course, a square wave if you want to do kind of choppy sounding things. Let's do this. Let's go to, say, the digital stereo delay in here. I'm going to set the left-right time ratio to 75%. So this kind of creates a dual style delay. Now, if I wanted to turn this into like a dual panning delay, I would assign my LFO3, not to the pan control, but to the spread control in here. I don't want the tempo. I want to go target and spread over here. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> So I've got that kind of dual delay happening, but the overall stereo image kind of increases and decreases on there. The other fun one to play around with, and I really like this on kind of cleaner tones, so I'll turn the drive pedal off over here we might bring the gain control down on the amp a little bit, is to target the overall delay level instead of the pan or the spread. This is going to create like a tremolo style delay. Faster rates I find generally work better with this one, and we'll turn the phase control down to zero on here. If I target nothing and then we go to target the level, you'll hear a very, very clear difference. <laughs>
adding some delay time modulation to that with LFO1 or LFO2. It's pretty beautiful as well. I'll just add a little bit of depth from both of them. Check this out. <laughs> that provides an insight into how you can use the new LFO3 in the delay block. This gives you so many more options on top of the existing delay type. So the way I think about this is this is a great way to take your favorite kind of character delay. If you like really hi-fi shimmery delays or if you like kind of dark crusty delays and turn them into kind of spatial effects, whether it's panning them around, playing with the overall stereo image in real time, or manipulating the level like we had there. I really like this kind of uh, stereo trem style effect with one of the really big reverbs. So let's take Stratocumulus. That's one of my favorite cloud types on here. Crank the mix control up and I'll play you all out with some kind of ambient bliss. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future Tuesday Tone Tips, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.